Hi everyone, in this uh, video we are going to talk about uh, the console of Matomo. So the console is the program uh, that you can find on uh, your server. So let me clean this up. Um, so this is the Matomo server, uh, let's say, location. And the server Matomo location, what you can see is that you have several files and one of them is named the console, which is an executable program which allows you to send some comments uh, to Matomo. To give you an idea about the various commands that Matomo uh, console support, here is the list where you can say that you can control some plugin or some feature of Matomo, such as the configuration, uh, such as uh, the tracker, such as uh, adding new custom dimension and so, and so on and so forth. In this uh, video, what we're gonna see is how you can in fact enhance uh, this list of commands and one uh, community plugin in particular which is named the user console which have been de developed by Mika Sharon from the Digitalist Sweden uh, team. Um, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to disable uh, this given uh, plugin. The idea is to give you an idea that you can extend this list of uh, commands. Of course you will tell me okay but what's the point of managing user thanks to the console when we can do it through the UI or when we can do it through the API. Uh, the answer is that it's giving you more flexibility. That's what this is all about. Uh, so, oops. so here I disable the plugin and as you can see now, if I go over here and I ask for the list, I won't get the list uh, from uh, the user management part, okay? Uh, that's the reason why that's the reason why I need to enable back this uh, this given console apps. That's why I need to enable it back. User console apps active. And in fact, this part uh, relate to this one that you can find within the documentation of Matmo is that if you are not happy with the default commands provided by the console mode within Matmo, you can create new plugins in order to give more flexibility to the console and add new possibilities of controlling Matmo thanks to the console. And this is exactly what this plugin is doing, is that it's extending the list of uh, the console list by giving you possibility to control thanks to the console uh, the ability to add some more users. So to say, if I go over here now and uh, say, okay, I wish I could create uh, one given user, this user it's called, uh, I don't know, let's say Luke, for example, and his email address can be Luke, okay, and here's the password. Here, as you can see, Luke has now been created as a user. And if I look uh, through the user's name, I'm going to get Luke added. Okay, so that, that's the power of the console. That's the possibility to use some command line in order to control and execute some feature within Matomo with, of course, uh, far more flexibility than using the UI. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.